Hello guys, Free Friends 91, and I'm talking about GTA 5 Heist. Should be coming out this Tuesday, or March 10th, if, yeah. So, should be... Should actually be... I'm really looking forward to it. It looks good, and today, IGN... Some people, they played IGN, at IGN, they played one of the Heist missions. And it looked pretty decent, what little clips I saw, and when they were talking about it, it sounded pretty epic. And it looked like teamwork, like it's really necessary. And even though I think in one part of the heist mission, one of the teammates killed each other. And one of the things is that once you run out of lives in heist, like when you, when you after you get to zero, you apparently lose the heist mission, even though they have checkpoints where you can start over. And they were talking about how even though, uh, because in a regular GTA multiplayer game, you run, out, you run out of lives when you just, everyone dies. After I mean, after the lives hit zero, you can still go on to the mission until everyone dies. But in this one, once the lives, I guess once you run out of lives, you just, the heist ends. So it looked pretty good, and what I want to just talk about really is how heist may, because heist is going to be, I feel like it's going to like encourage both teamwork and non-teamwork, because they were saying how the people other than the leader get little bits of, they get little bits of money when they finish like each checkpoint, I guess, or whatever it was, or each little mission, because they're saying how there are like basically six or five little missions inside this one mission, this one heist mission, and so the leader doesn't get any money till the end and he's the one who gets to pick how much people get money or how much money people get I think so it's like the leader can probably go like everyone else gets 1% each and I get 97% probably I'm not saying that that's how he can uh, I'm not sure if that's how it can go but the leader can seemingly just pick which everybody, what everybody kind of gets but, but that could also make the, the other players if the leader gives like what they think is an unfair cut not do the heist mission correctly since they're like well we'll still get some money even if you don't and it could just make people just kind of like troll because at the end, let's, let's say you get to the last part of a heist mission and then the people kind of troll and they're like, oh, gotta go, bye. Apparently, you have to end with the same four people that you began. So apparently, they go, gotta go, bye, turn off their Xbox and then like, imi imi like imagine the failure and then the leader gets no money but they still get some money. It's like, wow, uh, that would be messed up. But I also want to talk about how long they said the heist star. Apparently, they are three hours. At least it took them three hours to play this one heist. And I'm like, three hours? This is one mission. You got to have the same four people for three hours playing one big mission. I'm like, I thought it most would be like an hour and a half for the heist. And I'm like, wow, three hours. So that could just, I, I could see this really causing some problems for some people. Some people play in that heist movie, or I mean heist game, and all of a sudden someone has to leave and they have to start over with a, with a brand new group. I mean, it's just, oh, that would just be difficult, really. But it looks decent, and it really encourages teamwork. And I was like, wow. But three hours is just, that's just a long time. Now, I'm sure that depends on how good you are at the heist. This was their first or second time playing the heist or something like that, I think. So they probably weren't used to it. They probably, like, died, had to go to checkpoints a lot of times. So it, 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 in a sense, it just seems how good you are. Now, there's one, some things about the heist I'm not sure about, and I want to kind of figure out. Because uh, um, um, it's just that most of the heists seem to involve them picking up vehicles, such as at one point they had to pick up a new type of jet, which I don't remember the name of right now, but they also had to pick up a Valkyrie, which is a new type of helicopter gunship kind of thing with like two um, machine guns or what Gatling guns on the sides, I want to call them. But anyway, this new type of... Um, we, well, we knew that heists in, in, the, in the single player... You could pick up vehicles or you could like buy them like um, with the single player last mission where you had to get those four heavy or, or um, muscle cars you could pick them up but i just bought all of them i just bought them all and drove them to the garage i didn't feel the need to pick them up well actually i had to paint them first spray paint them first or not spray paint them i had to mod them so they could carry the gold but i, I was that's what i was wondering if like all right if, if let's say a mission requires a helicopter if i already own a helicopter do we have to actually go out and get a particular helicopter because let's say that the Valkyrie, let's say that the mission, like for this mission, they required to get the, they required to get the Valkyrie. But what if you happens if you own a Valkyrie? Let's say you play the mission, you get the Valkyrie, you park in your garage, and you now own one. Do you have to still go and get the one that's at where, where at the armored base is? That's the question, and that's a huge part of the heist since that's one mission. So that's what my thing is. Is it going to be like single player where if you have something, you don't have to get it? Or is it going to be like where you still have to get it just because they want to make sure that the heist remains, remains long? I mean, they, they, there was this part where they had to pick up these armored vehicles. If you already own them, do you have to pick them up? That's the thing. I believe four part of the six part big mission was just picking up vehicles. So 
if you already owned all four vehicles, would you just skip those four parts and go straight to the last two? And that would make the heist a lot shorter. Anyway, leave me, leave me your thoughts in the comments where they think they'll go that way or they'll just make you get it, even though you already own the vehicles. My other thing was that um, GTA took a long time to route these heists, so they better be good. If they're not, if they're not really, really good, like, and then they can't just be good. Just not regular good. They can't, I, I don't think they can just be like, oh, well, okay, that was fun. I had some fun, um, but I'm not going to do it again. They have to be like, oh, that was so good. Come on, guys, let's play that again. Let's play it a little differently this time. That's what I believe. Because we, we've been waiting over a year for these heists. So at this point, GTA can't just give us okay heists. And I hope there are heist updates in the future where they give us future heists. And I, I'm kind of hoping that just how people mod multiplayer modes, there are so many modded multiplayer modes right now where you like leap off buildings with cars. I saw one the other day where you have to like try to climb vertically up with a bicycle. It was really fun to watch. But I'm hoping that people are able to mod their own heists. I'm hoping that people are able to like use the mission locations and they'll be able to like come customly create their own versions of heist where you have to do different things. It'd be really cool. I think that would really extend the game a lot longer. And I really think that that would really be a good addition to the game. Just personally, I think that they need to have like modded heist. But we'll see. I mean, the heists are coming out March 10th, like I said before. And wow. So I'm just, I'm probably going to try to live stream my first heist that morning of Tuesday. Probably just going to stay up and wait until the heist update play some live stream and you guys can come comment or stuff and, then, and if you guys want to play with me that's that's good too if you guys have gta 5 on the xbox 360 i could probably use some heist buddies because most of my friends have gone to the xbox one anyway so that's basically what i want to talk about heist i mean the length how it is and how, how it seems like it's going to be well, we'll see if it if each heist does take three hours that's five heists that's about 15 hours of gameplay extra but it's still three hours for five hundred fifty thousand dollars. Is that really worth it? That's the question. Because you have to split that between four people. Even if you split that evenly, that's like one hundred thirty-five thousand each. I think in the game they showed it was like one hundred thirty-five thousand each. But you can't exactly split it evenly because the leader has to in the game had to pay about fifty-four thousand dollars just to get the equipment required for the heist. So even if you, so, is that really worth it? Let's just average it out to about a hundred thousand per person, or a hundred and something thousand per person. Is that worth three hours? Maybe not, because some of those missions do like 22,000, some of the missions that take only like 10 to 15 minutes, or um, maybe 20 minutes, do like, give you like $22,000. You do like um, five or six of those missions, you have more than a heist mission right there, and you probably spent at least an hour or less. But we'll see. Where these heists really do take three hours, or whether it only took them three hours because they probably were dying a lot. We don't know. We'll see. All right, well, that's it. I want to talk about the heist. Tell me, you guys, what you guys think about heists. What you guys excited for it? You guys ready for this? You guys just can't wait till March 10th? Or you guys just, eh, at this point, done with GTA 5? Yeah, well, just leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.